guys, uh, I'm Francisco Flores, uh, aka Pancho. This is my actress later. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this. Uh, I'm gonna try to pick up my love for skateboarding again after a long time of drug and alcohol abuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got it. It was weak, but I got it. It was switched, too. <laughs> Some things here at the Displaying Skate Park. Hey, Space Skate Park. It's I'm still sore from like a couple other days. <laughs> so I haven't skated that much. You, shit, I feel like shit. You definitely <laughs> feel like you're 50 now, right? Yeah. Whole body sore. Should've done a nice bath. <laughs> Alright, man, let's go. Let's see what you can do today. fucking suck. It was fucking brutal. Uh, my body was sore. I noticed my body couldn't keep up with it. Uh, noticed how out, of, how out of shape I am. Still couldn't do much because my body couldn't take it. What's up, bro? Not much. Uh, I'm just gonna walk you guys through where uh, I used where I grew up. Oasis and Displains. OTP? Yeah. This is the famous OTP? This is it. <laughs> this was my house where I used to live. Uh, some of my close friends lived, uh, one lived right there. His name was Junior. The other one lived uh, two houses down from me. His name was Paul. That was like the trap house. God, that was the trap house? Yeah. It was like, that's where everything would, would go down. Since like junior high, we did that because uh, his mom was never really around. And like, uh, that was like the trap house. We had parties every day. We had like, we'd have, we didn't care any, like, it was, we were still young, living life. Uh, everybody would just go to that house. We would just party like nonstop every day. And uh, we would just go to Junior's house and skate. We would max out at his house because they had money. <laughs> and like, that's where everybody would go to eat. <laughs> And uh, then we would come back over here at night and we'd just be here like chilling, drinking, smoking, with like no parent supervision when we were like what, like fucking 14, 13. Definitely good times, right? Yeah, definitely. We didn't have no social media and shit. <laughs> we were living. <laughs> so what's up, Pancho? Where we at? Uh, this is spot three in Rosal. Skate park. Uh, 
uh, just gonna see what we could get today. Huh? Still kind of sore. <laughs> Did you so stretch? We'll get some footage. Did you stretch? A little bit. Did you hear a nice little beezy? Yeah. Alright, for sure. Let's get this, baby. Yeah, yeah, I Had it, you saw it. <laughs> yeah, you almost had it, bro. It's all right. Remember, you're not 15 anymore. So, what's up, man? How do you feel about your abilities right now? I don't know, man. Kind of disappointed. Why is that? I don't know. It's because I had let myself go and like I can't really do much no more. I can still get some things, but. It's still hard to get up. <laughs> all that, all that partying and drinking caught up. You hate yourself for it right now? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this experience was really eye-opening to me. Um, showed me how like I I let myself go, how drugs, partying, everything took a toll on my life, and how I have to do something to switch my life back around because. Uh, I'm trying to stay healthy now and actually get back to skateboarding, lose a couple pounds. Yeah, I just want to keep the momentum going on this because like I, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, see how I might be in like a couple more years, like two or three years, if I'm still gonna be trying, trying to wood push and still do things like that, you know, and uh, get. Okay.